Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. Today I'm going to talk about striving for excellence. We all have it within us. We all are just enough, just as we are. But sometimes we lose sight of that. And often we need to be doing things on a daily basis to remind ourselves. We do not wake up in the morning and say, yay, today we're going for mediocrity. We want to always move towards excellence, but there's sometimes things that get in the way of that. So, you know, do you ever consider or think about like, why is it that I call myself lazy? Why is it that I call myself unmotivated? Why is it that I call myself a procrastinator, right? We label ourselves so much. So it's not that you're lazy or that you're unmotivated or you're a procrastinator. Your habits speak for that. There's something getting in the way of your excellence. And excellence, driving for excellence, it's a habit. It's something you have to cultivate. It's almost like this fog that's on top of that excellence that's not letting it reach the surface. And you have to work through that fog in order to really highlight that excellence inside of you. So that's what we're gonna strive for, is being excellent, our excellent self on a daily basis. And to cultivate the habits that actually allow us to believe that about ourselves. Not about saying, I am excellent, I am excellent, everything about me is excellent, but when you think of yourself, that you actually have examples that you could extrapolate that leans into your excellence and allows you to feel like you're a thriving, functional, good enough person. So we're gonna really, and we wanna develop that on a daily basis, that essence of excellence. So our guided meditation is going to be on uncovering that excellence and working on it and developing it on a daily basis. So to see through that fog. So when you feel comfortable enough, if you could sit up straight and close your eyes. And I want you to think about, you know, something that's coming up for you that may be something you're feeling some self doubt about. Maybe it's something you want to accomplish that you haven't been able to because there's a barrier or something that you wanted to fall through on that never did or something you wanted to start and never began, whatever it is. And to think about that fog, that shield that doesn't allow you to just push forward. It's kind of this mist that's surrounding you, that's keeping you in the in this stuck place. Where you're not readily allowing yourself to be available or open. And I want you to think about this inner coach or inner advocate that's within you and is saying in a very loving, nurturing and caring way, you could do this. You have the ability. You won't know until you try, even through your failure, you will grow, you will change you will flourish, you will enhance your resilience and your adversity. Your ability to work through adversity. And that inner cheerleader that's telling you go, you could do this, tap into that strength. And even if you have to look at yourself in the mirror and imagine yourself doing that 
and saying, I am strong. I can do this. And stay there until you really feel it on a gut level. I am strong. I can do this. I could push forward. I could unleash my excellence. I could be who I want to be. I could do what I want to do. I have all I need within me. And there's no one better to follow through and push through but you. You always have yourself. You could always be that inner strength, that inner advocate, that inner cheerleader. And it's a decision that you make every single day to cultivate that habit. And imagine waking up and staying there until you could feel that on a gut level. And willingness to have small little changes. And imagine that fog that's covering you is lifting really slowly. Almost like a curtain, inch by inch, where you're almost able to see daylight. You're almost able to tap into that inner excellence. You're almost there, inch by inch almost there. You almost got it. Just a little bit more. It's almost lifted. You could almost see through to the other side. And when you finally do, the feeling of joy and your inner voice, good for you, you did it. You could do anything you want. The power is within you. Work hard and strive. Formulate that excellence habit. And when I count to three and when you're ready, you could open your eyes. One, two, and three. I believe in you wholeheartedly and unconditionally. I hope you and your families are safe and healthy. Thank you.